almost two years later, the 114,000-ton ship, with another 60,000 tons of contents, is collapsing from its own weight. It has become an environmental hazard, threatening the entire coastline. The Costa Concordia must be removed. If it was an empty shell, the salvage crew could simply cut her up. But because the ship is packed with personal effects and possibly the remains of two people, that isn't an option. There's only one plan. Pull the Concordia upright and tow her away. But the great ship is perched on top of two undersea granite pinnacles. One wrong move will twist her in two or send her spinning into the abyss. But they have to try. After more than a year of research, experts came to a shocking conclusion. It's now or never. The Concordia may not survive another winter intact. She's an environmental time bomb. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you got a crew change in 10, 15 minutes. Senior salvage master Nick Sloan has tackled some of the world's right. toughest marine fixes, like huge oil tankers snapped in half by waves off of South Africa's coast. I mean, you can, depending on the weather, that looks more sheltered down aft. But this one is beyond compare. Salvage master Nick Sloan is about to attempt an engineering miracle, raising the Costa Concordia from its watery grave. It's called the Parbuckling Project. Parbuckling is a method used to retrieve a sunken vessel by using slings and weight to roll her. On one side, hydraulic jacks will keep her from sliding down, while powerful jacks on the opposite side rotate her upright. You can't really go into a hardware store and say, I want one Costa Concorde power buckling kit, because they wouldn't really know what you're doing. So everything that we have has been designed and built by the team. But the process has never been applied to a passenger ship as large as Concordia. The preparation alone is extraordinary. First, the team fills in beneath her sagging midsection with 20,000 tons of giant cement bags to support her tremendous weight. The bags also level the sloping seafloor and will help distribute the massive forces on the ship. They weld 10-story ballast tanks called sponsons on her exposed side. These will be filled with water during the latter stage of the parbuckle to assist the rotation. And then emptied to add buoyancy and to control her touchdown. Next, they encircle her with hydraulic jacks, capable of shifting over 200,000 tons of dead weight upright. Nick Sloan and his team are as ready as they can be.